Prepare to journey into the heart of Southern Africa with me, Christopher Hainsworth, where every creature has a story to tell. From the elusive to the iconic, I am on a mission to document them all. Join me as we create captivating documentaries showcasing the rich wildlife this planet has to offer. Right, so here we are back at Ritfla here in the south of Johannesburg documenting its wildlife. And I'm in the same place that I was yesterday. Um, I'm slightly elevated today because I found I couldn't really see the creatures digging into the sand. Because um, I was slightly lower than them. Slightly lower than sea level. I also need to correct myself and recap another species of mongoose that we documented in the previous video. I mean, if you haven't seen that video, please, please make sure you go and check it out. While I was filming a dussy eating some fresh, soft plants growing out of a tire, um, another mongoose appeared, and I actually got the name of the mongoose wrong. I think I said it was a striped mongoose, but it's actually known as the slender mongoose. And it's a pretty badass mongoose. It, um, unlike the yellow mongoose that lives or often exists in pairs and will live in colonies of up to eight, sometimes 20 mongoose. The slender mongoose is more of a solitary creature and that is what we observed here. Very interestingly enough, the slender mongoose is quite a vicious species of mongoose. Um, it has been observed that they've um, hunted birds, other mongoose, um, and have also been observed to eat carrion, which is rotten meat. And I've actually observed that here in the south of Johannesburg, I was on a hike here in the hills, and I came across a dead dussy that was being fed upon by one of these slender mongoose. Now, I don't know if he killed that dussy, but I witnessed him eating it, and, um, and that was quite an eye-opener for me. So I wouldn't want to mess with that mongoose. I wouldn't want to mess with any of these mongoose because another interesting fact about these mongoose, particularly the yellow mongoose, is that they actually carry rabies. So you definitely don't want to be bit by one of them. They do not get sick from the rabies, which is quite interesting. Uh, they can live their entire life asymptomatic to rabies, uh, which is quite fascinating, but if they bite a human, you will get rabies, or most likely, or the chances of you getting rabies are super high. Oh, that's interesting. There are horses and one donkey that roams around here at Ritfle, and looks like he's found some of their dung. And he is, I guess, looking for some bugs in there and eating them. That is very interesting. Digging through poop. <laughs> Let's get a little bit closer to the action here. I'm joined by Dean and Luke, who is officially in the video. You guys are officially in the video. There's Dean. Hey Luke, I want to show you something. Come look here. Trust me, this is uh, very cool stuff. He's digging through poo. It's that one there. Do you like it? Come stand this side. Look there. Look at him. Can you see him? He's eating. See what is quite interesting behavior, Dean? He's actually digging through the, the dung of one of the horses. It's obviously trying bugs that are in there. Probably grass that hasn't been processed either. Yeah. Look at him. Look at him. That's so cool. Look at him. Look at him. You yeah. like it? You like it? Yes. yes, that's a GoPro camera. It's recording you. Cool, we've got a yellow mongoose that's just come out of the bush. The yellow mongoose is also known as the red meerkat, interestingly enough or surrogate. I believe meerkat or meerkat is the Afrikaans word for surrogate. And the yellow mongoose, unlike the slender mongoose, um, mainly eat insects and amphibians, but have also been witnessed eating carrion or rotten meat. Yeah, they can be quite vicious little things. 
And as I mentioned when I was documenting them yesterday, they got the most beautiful golden yellow color in their eyes. These yellow mongoose will actually share burrows with other species such as surrogates or meerkats and ground squirrels. Now, we don't have any meerkats or ground squirrels here in the south of Johannesburg, so this is not a behavior that is going to be observed here. I'm assuming they, they live alone in their burrows. So obviously loads of bugs in that poo. Wow. Babies have not learned to look through poo yet. Or maybe they're just not willing to. Something that mommy has not taught them yet. They're all running away from the poo. Ooh, they're learning the poo behavior. Look at that. They've all rushed over there now and are just doing as the adults do. Here you go. They must be finding some yummy insect in there. And there they all go. Another interesting fact about these yellow mongoose is that they have a number of different ways that they communicate, but they remain mostly silent. And. La -di -da. So, one of the ways in which these yellow mongoose communicate with each other and communicate their status with each other is with different signals with their tails. This is potentially something we observed when there was a yellow mongoose digging and something in the ground was disturbing him. So they communicate using different tail signals and the mongoose we observed digging something that was upsetting him kind of looked like he was in distress and was throwing his tail up. Looking in the poo. Oh yeah, look at that, eh? That is very interesting. Never seen that before. Looking for insects in the poo. It's an interesting bird that's just landed behind him. Let's have a look what bird that is. Long-tailed black bird. Hmm, interesting. I've got a new species that's landed here. The hardy die is actually named after its call. Um, and yeah, very interestingly enough, the hardy die belongs to a family of bird called ibises. It's actually called the hardy die ibis. So many people are under the impression that there are only two species of ibises here in the south of Johannesburg. The Hardidar ibis and the White Sacred ibis. Oh, that is the third species that is feeding from the feces here today. There's lots of bugs in there. It's so interesting, eh? The, the uh, mongoose were doing that, uh, Tarantala, and now this Hardidar, bro. But what a lot of people don't know is that there is actually a third species of ibis that no one really gets to see often because they eat primarily in wetlands and the reeds here in the wetlands, particularly here in the south of Joburg, grow super long. So unless those reeds are cut or have been burnt, you're not going to see those glossy ibises. Um, I definitely plan on documenting all the ibises here in the south of Johannesburg, so keep a lookout for that one. That one should be, should be very interesting.
And there he goes. He is finished with that pile of poo. Cool, let's get a shot of this moon. This daytime moon. Let's get focus here. Yeah. Here we go. And there is a shot of the moon during the day. That is super cool, huh? Hey? Wow. I love that. That looks great. You can see how it's slowly rising to the left. It's moving ever so slowly. Yeah, well, I think that's it for today. I think the most interesting thing of the day was definitely the three different species of animals digging through dung to look for insects. Never seen that before.